I'm setting up a page to capture our client feedback. So I've made a page called Feedback and put a heading on the page, share your feedback, uh, we're keen to hear your thoughts. And I've saved that as a draft. So our next step is to install the surveys add-on for Gravity Forms. So Gravity Forms up here in Forms and we want the add-ons. We use Gravity Forms for pretty much all the inquiry forms that we set up on websites and it's a very simple to use and robust form system. So I'm just going to scroll down here and find the survey add-on. There it is. Install. So and we've used the Gravity Forms for quite a few years now and it's very reliable even with tens of thousands of entries in it. Let's go up to forms now and we're going to make a new form. So we'll hit that and this new form is going to be our survey form. So we'll create that form can see now we're in the editing window for the form. First up, let's get the name and email. And I think it would be wise to make these required because otherwise we really don't know where the feedback's coming from and it could be someone uh, you know, playing a joke or all sorts of things. So name and email, and we should know the other information contact details for them since they are a client, presumably. And now what we wanna do is put in a box where they can type in some, just like a general comment or something like some feedback. So if we click on to standard fields and we'll click on the paragraph text and that gives us our text box which we can name um, comments, that will do. Right, so moving on from that, let's add the survey field or a survey field. So we'll click on survey. And now we've got the strongly agree, disagree, neutral agree, which is a kind of classic survey field. And so the question is going to be, um, I am happy with the service overall. And so that's the question, or the sort of statement, I'm happy with the service overall. And we've got this, this like it survey field. And we've got our buttons. So that's what we can do as a standard add for the survey field. Another type of survey field we can add, so if we click on survey again, is a, a field which lets you sort the um, items in the list. So that's this rank one. And you can see now we've got this uh, kind of ranking sorting system here. So um, rank your um, priorities, rank your um, most satisfactory items first. Okay, so it's going to be, let's put in um, design and 
timeline and communication and finished product. One thing I'm finding is it's very hard to come up with these on the fly. This is all completely optional though, I might point out. Like, you don't have to have either of these fields if you don't want to. And, um, and when I come back and redo this, I may even just simplify things further. The other survey field, which I think I quite like and we'll probably use more for our own survey, will be the rating, which is like the star rating. So I've added the rating survey field and so for this one, we can do something similar to this overall sort of strongly agree, agree type thing. But this is like um, rate the value provided. And so then we've got this star rating. So it's just like they can tick which star rating they want and it's a nice quick uh, sort of survey item instead of having like to click on I agree disagree that kind of thing it's just like yep it's five stars or it's four stars or something like that and I would be maybe inclined to um, put in like what the the star numbers mean so let's say so it's Let's say the first one might be satisfactory. Um, right, we'll leave it as like, just as it is actually, leave it as that. So um, maybe in the description we put in like one star is terrible, two stars is not so great, three stars, is neutral, or maybe just say like okay. Uh, four stars is pretty good. And five stars is excellent. And now just to make these show up as a nice list in the description, what we can do is put in the break tag if I put one of these on the end of each line, it's going to spread them down in a nice list like this. And so now we've got a list of the survey stars and what we're, what we're designating that they're, they're rated as. Like what, what's the comparison? I mean, because you don't, like, if we said like, um, we've decided that one is fantastic and five stars is like out of this world then people won't know that one is fantastic will they because they'll just think oh well it's, it's one star so i think it's probably worth putting in uh, a little table at least for the first one and if not here this this could become uh, part of the, the html up, up the page instead so that's the three types of survey fields you can of course have like a simple um, radio button kind of one as well. So even without this survey add-on, if we didn't want to use the stars, and I guess the stars is probably the main sort of, you know, fancy part of the, the survey fields. If we put in a standard radio buttons field, and I quite like this too, because really you're putting in the words next to it. So, how was the service you received? Not um, poor, average, um, good, oh, so say very good. have another one for excellent. So we've got four items. So poor, average, very good, excellent. 
And so that gives us a simple like scale for feedback as well. So let's say I'm happy with the survey that we've got here. And one other field I might add in, you could put in like, well, any field really, but you could put in one that's like, put, upload a picture of the, um, you know, upload a picture from their phone. So it could be um, a file item, file upload. And this might be upload, upload a photo of your um, product. And we'll make it so it's allowed to have JPEG and JPEG and PNG files. So they're the kind of two, they're the picture file types. And we can make it a multi-upload if we wanted to, but probably one one photo would be enough, I suppose. But upload photos of the finished product, or and yourself. Probably nobody will take that offer up, but you never know. But you could put in like upload a picture of your house or upload a picture of your new hot water heater or your new kitchen or something like that. So once we're happy with that, we press on the update form button and that saves the changes. Now we need to go and put that form into the page. So if we go back to our pages, find our feedback page. Go down to feedback. And so we're going to add that form just under the text. So what I might do, because our page is pretty wide, I'll divide this into two columns. and then add the form to here, and it's a gravity form. So click on gravity form, and now we need to choose the feedback form. So we'll pick our feedback form and save the changes. And so now we've got our form and we can click publish. Once that's published, then we can go and have a look at what that form looks like. So this form is pretty simple, but of course we can go back and customize it some more. So our feedback will be put our name in, put our email address in, comments. I strongly disagree or agree or whatever. We can rearrange these items here. We can give a rating. We can choose the service rating here in the drop radio buttons and we can do select files and submit. So there's um, some other tweaks that we can make to the form but that's just the, the sort of essentials of using the survey add-on for gravity forms to get these other types of form fields. So the strongly disagree agree type field, this ranking field and the star rating field. Alright, hope that was helpful.